Hello, you wonderful people. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the instructions for uh, the sheet um, 7.02 scale factor. Uh, so when you open it, you'll probably open it and something looks like this. Um, you should come up here to say where it says open with and go to Google Docs. Um, you should do that because for this one, I have noticed that there's some things wrong with some of the pictures uh, in this view like this small uh, trapezoid and this bigger trapezoid should actually be on the same line. So go to open with Google Docs and it'll open up this right here. Okay, so this is 7.02 in your book, uh, scale factor. Uh, the learning goals, students can use vocabulary associated with scale factor or you should be able to uh, understand the vocabulary that has to do with this topic right here. Students can recognize if the scale factor will enlarge or shrink the original. So uh, if you're just looking at the scale factor, uh, is it going to make the picture bigger or smaller? Students will calculate the scale factor from the scaled figure and the original. So if you're given the picture of the what you start with, and what you end with, can you figure out what the scale factor is? Okay, so uh, this was uh, this vocabulary was uh, in the last video as well, but let's go over real quick. Scale factor is the number that describes how much you in reduce or enlarge a figure. Uh, another way of thinking about it is the ratio of the drawing to real life. Um, or you can think of it as the ratio of the scaled figure to the original. Uh, so basically, scaled figure divided by original gives you the scale factor. Right? Um, and once again, you can actually use the word scale as a verb uh, to mean to reduce or enlarge a figure. Scaled can be used as an adjective example scaled figure um, is just describing uh, it's an adjective that says the figure has been reduced or enlarged in this next section um, from here all the way to here uh, so in during this table uh, I give you both pictures um, you have to determine the scale factor that would make the original look like the scaled figure. In this next section, uh, it says to calculate the value of these, um, mx, angle u, v, uh, angle v, and t, and that's just in these pictures up here. So here's m, here is v, u, and t in this picture. All right, uh, and then here, um, is the summary section for scale factor. Um, so if the scale factor is less than one, then the scaled figure is gonna be what compared to the original object? So will it be bigger, smaller, or the same? Uh, fill in the rest here. Um, for page three, uh, I give you the picture of the original I tell you what the scale factor is. I want you to tell me the dimensions of the scaled figure. So how big will each side be on the scaled figure? So here I drew out the scaled figure. Uh, this little symbol next to the B, next to the A, next to the D, next to the C, that little symbol right there, um, is just put there to help you match the two figures. So this B over here became B prime, and this A up here became A prime on this picture, okay? And it is how you read it, A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, um, for the other pictures, um, I did not draw the scaled figure. You draw the scale figure, and then you label all the dimensions. Uh, you should be able to actually label every one of the sides. Like here on this picture, I only labeled uh, to the sides 
but on your picture you should be able to label all four uh, and uh, it helps this little descriptor down here it tells you information about what this shape is it is a parallelogram uh, and that's actually how you would use you use that information right there to help you be able to label the other two sides on your picture so here draw the picture label all four sides um, on page four um, I gave you uh, the scaled figure and I told you what the scale factor is um, and you have to uh, be able to draw the original using that information once again you should be able to label all the sides uh, this is a circle so there are no sides to label you would just label what the radius is okay I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day. Take care.